Hello fellow game devs, this is Simon Marklund with Cage Interactive. Today I thought we would take a short look at how we will uh, create a um, post effect using ShaderForge and uh, C Sharp. So the first thing we're going to do is just create a new C Sharp script. I'm going to call this the Echo Tails effect. And then I'm going to open this up inside of Visual Studio. It doesn't matter which ID you use, of course, but this is the one I've chosen. So let's go. First up, I want to be able to see this inside of the editor. So I'm going to set the execute and editor mode tag above my class. Next up, I'm going to create a public material. Go tails effect. There we go. Now we're going to make use of a built in function inside of Unity. So void on render image. On render image takes uh, two render textures. First, the uh, source, which is whatever is currently on screen. And then a destination, which is whatever happens inside of here. And we're going to, again, make use of a built-in function. And it's called graphics.blit. And inside of this one, we're going to first take our source then our destination and we're going to create the destination by using the echo tails effect all right and that's all we have to do inside of visual studio and now i'm just going to save this down go down back here and i'm going to toss this onto my main camera as you can see everything just goes black it's because i don't have a material here go to shader forge and I'm going to create a new shader of type post effect go go tails effect all right let's um, let's compile the shader and see what happens I'm going to create a new material from the echo tails effect and toss this into here. As you can see, nothing happens. But if we go to to lighting, set this to deferred and compile, everything works the way it should. We can return it to forward again and things will still work. So this isn't really a very exciting effect. So let's um, take a look at something a bit different in the second part. Bye.